You could sit and think for hours about the greatest piece of art you want to make, but it's not until you actually get your hands dirty and you start making, that's when you make mistakes, which will then lead to really great art. I remember one of my professors was Sabina Ott and I was already there in the midst of the program and she told me, yeah, when you applied to Washu, your stuff was really 80s. And part of my soul like cringed a little bit, but at the same time, I knew she was absolutely right. And so to be given the opportunity to study at Washu and grow my work, and I made some really bad paintings my first year, but I feel the professors at the time when I was there were very supportive of figurative work. And by the end of the painting program, there were some painters who were using no paint. And for me, that was very, that was like a real education. Like you can be a painter and not use paint. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. I still feel like I'm 100% influenced by painters. I look at mainly painters for inspiration and I'm using wool instead of paint. I was strictly a painter when I was at Wash U, but the work that I'm making today is a direct result of it's informed by being a mother. So I had to create a non-toxic studio when I was pregnant. And the work that I'm making now is very much focused on this other side of the embroidery. They're very abstract and they're really fun. My solo show at the Contemporary Art Museum here in St. Louis was my first time to kind of introduce my work to St. Louis and show the progression of my embroideries all the way to large scale paintings and kind of back to embroidery. From someone who's continued to live and make work in St. Louis, it feels good that I've made Mama Bear and Papa Bear proud from Wash U. <laughs> so I'm very grateful to receive this. It's a real honor to be seen by the school for sure. Really, I feel a calling of being an artist today to speak to these greater things that we can't describe with words. And I feel like art is a chance to, yeah, speak to that part of humanity that goes beyond words.